Ethan Gioco, Ainsley Campbell, Kemario Bygrave, Nathaniel Wallace, Corlando Chambers, Joseph Parks, Nalim Amberton, Kirani Fletch uh, Fletcher, Kevin Williams, Raheem Walker, Jordan Sinclair, and Omar Matthews are the contenders here in the Class 1 boys, 1,500 meters. And uh, from Eden Allen, Joseph Parks looks to uh, go out early. And but the Kingston College Fair of Gioco and Campbell are staying right there as well. And uh, that's Omar Matthews of Central High out of uh, Manchester. He's also right there. And as the stockily built uh, Joseph Parks of Edwin Allen, who decides to take the early lead. Gioco is right there from uh, Kingston College. And the St. Jago's Corlando Chambers, who would have been a finalist in this event last year, Chambers of uh, St. Jago. So he'll want to have something to say about it in the final reckoning. And he's right there in uh, third. So as they spread across your screen, that's a Gioco of uh, Kingston College, Bygrave of JC, a bit back, but remember. Mitchell of Homewood did the same thing in the class one girls final. And Gioco, uh, one who likes uh, the front running and they're not afraid of uh, the pace. Gioco, Belfield's Jordan Sinclair is also right there. Ethan Gioco would have seen his uh, compatriots get the one two in class two. And he decides to separate himself from the pack. Chambers of uh, St. Jago. And Wallace, formerly of Stets, now of uh, William Nibb. Moves up into second place. Nathaniel Wallace. Ethan Gioco, though, has that uh, inimitable style of his. Upright, looking purposeful. And clearly, Coach Wilson has come into this race with a plan to get the better off by Grave. Yes, as I said earlier, the, the, the strategy is going to be very important. He has opened up the, the race. Uh, he's running at a particular pace, and it is important that Bygrave stays close and the other athletes if they want to win this one. Well, at the time, for the time being, no one is staying close to Ethan Gioco of Kingston College. Closest to him is uh, uh, Nathaniel Wallace of William Nibb, the former Stetsman. And uh, Ch Chambers of San Diego back there in third. So this is uh, Gioco. And just about uh, four at the bell lap, just 400 meters to go now. And Gioco still pressing, and the rest of the pack comes by. And still Gioco. Wallace decides uh, to be brave and uh, go after Gioco. And here comes uh, uh, Campbell of Kingston College as well moves up into third place but Gioco really pressing and really going away uh, from the field Bygrave uh, decides to go to work now but will it be too late Gioco grimaces a bit at the 200 meter mark is he being reeled in by the field Gioco still with that lead 150 meters to go his uh, teammate Ainsley Campbell presses now Orlando Chambers of St. Diego, finalist last year, decides uh, to go with them. So the race is on now. Campbell attacks, goes by Gioco. Gioco is done for the evening. Orlando Chambers uh, presses. So it's Campbell who will take it from Chambers. Ainsley Campbell of Kingston College takes victory here in the class one boys, 1500 meters. Chambers gets second. And uh, Bygrave comes through for the bronze. And what there's, a run by Ainsley Campbell of KC. There's a reason we run the races. <laughs> I would have said Gaioko was favored for the 1500 meters over his teammate Campbell. And even at this stage, Gaioko looked to be effortless. Easy. This but is he grimaced at the 200 meter mark. And I felt this is where the field came back at him. He felt, he began to feel that pressure. But but if you look at the screen, Jermaine, with 150 meters to go, he still has about a 15, 20 meter lead, though it is being yeah. swallowed up when, every yeah. stride. When My they pressed, goodness. though, he, he didn't have anything left in, yeah, in the yeah, time. That, that pace was a very, yeah, very it was, it was hard. hard pace. Yeah. And uh, could have been a strategy for, for Chambers to use his speed to come through. 
knowing that Bygrave has so much yeah. speed. So uh, could have been a, a strategy Campbell. by the team. Yeah. Campbell. So Ainsley Campbell takes it. And I tell you, Chambers, who would have finished seventh last year, uh, comes through for the silver uh, this year. That is uh, Chambers out of San Diego, the uh, central uh, champion, uh, who would have been fifth uh, overall this season in terms of uh, times. The Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Championships, exclusively on TVJ, TVJSN, and OneSpotMedia.com.